walk you through how Quidco works and why you should use it basically. I've been using it since 2012 and honestly I will not stop using it. Every time I make a purchase I always make sure I go through Quidco where, where possible just because why not? It's literally free money and there's not really a catch. If you go for the basic account it's completely free but if you go for the premium account yeah you do pay Quidco £5 a year but that's not really a lot if you think about it and you actually benefit from higher cashback rates so it's a win-win situation really. So it works in three simple steps. Step one, you gotta sign up obviously. I've dropped my referral link in the video description below so feel free to use that. If you do, you'll get £10 and I'll get £10 too so it's a win-win situation for both of us. If you don't wanna use it and earn an extra £10 then cool. But just remember that you won't actually get that £10 instantly. You'll have to actually use Quidco and earn some confirmed cash back before Quidco will add that £10 to your balance. So just something to know. So step two, once you've signed up and you're logged in, all you want to do is search for the retailer that you want to shop at. So let's say, for example, I want to buy something from ASOS. Literally search ASOS and you'll see that it appears in the list. If the retailer that you search for isn't in the list, such as Amazon, then that means you can't earn Quidco. I mean, you can't earn cash back through Quidco. So once you see ASOS or whatever retailer you're looking for, simply click on it and you'll see that it says you can earn up to 10% cash back. It also shows you how quickly it tracks, what the tracking reliability is and how quickly it pays. So with ASOS, it says it'll track in less than 12 hours. So once you've made your purchase, you should get an email from Quidco to say that it's being tracked within 12 hours or yeah within 12 hours and it pays within four months so this this will vary between retailer to retailer some pay quicker than others but honestly it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day it's free money it's not like it's your monthly wage you shouldn't sit around and wait for it anyway once you're ready to make a purchase all you want to do is hit click get click all you want to all you want to do is click get cash back and this will then direct you to the ASOS website or whatever retailer you want to shop at. And then the last thing to do is basically just do what you would normally do when you shop online, just add things to your basket and make the purchase and it's job done. Then you just got to wait for your cash back to be tracked and be confirmed. So as I mentioned earlier, it, can, it will vary between retailers, you may get paid within four months, you may get paid within a few weeks. Either way, you will get paid, so happy days. That's basically, yeah, that's literally how Quidco works. You're effectively just shopping at a retailer by going to their website via Quidco as opposed to going directly on their website as you would do. So instead of going to Nike.com, you will go through Quidco and then select Nike and so on. Like, it's really easy to use and I absolutely love it. I've been using it for eight years and Honestly, every time I want to buy something online, I will check if the retailer is on Quidco. If they're not, I'm not going to lie, I, am, I do get a little bit disappointed because earning cash back is just so, it's just, it's nice. I mean, it's extra money, right? If we look into my account, you'll see that the cash back I've earned, you've got £1.11, £2.80, you've got, even got 12 pence. It kind of varies. Like, I mean, you might think, what's 12p? 12 pence it's nothing but i mean it all adds up at the end of the day if we look at my account now my available balance is at 125 pounds which isn't too bad at all and obviously my total total earn is 893 pounds 85 pence so that's been in the eight years that i've been using quidco which doesn't seem like a lot but you also got to think that my first few years of using it i wasn't really making any purchases because i was at uni so i didn't really have any money so really I've pretty much earned most of my cash back in the last few years. So yeah, I've now got a, an available balance of £125 and 5p. So what I'm going to do is withdraw it. What I usually do is withdraw it once a year and I normally use that money to treat myself to a holiday. But unfortunately this year I won't be going anywhere primarily because of the pandemic. And even though things are starting to go back to normal, I still don't feel comfortable with going abroad. So I'm going to withdraw the cash to my bank account and treat myself to something nice. You can withdraw your cash in multiple ways. One, you can withdraw straight to your bank account or two, you can withdraw to your PayPal account. The third option is to exchange your Quidco balance for a gift card. 
say you want to exchange that balance for a buy gift gift card for example you'll get 20 percent on top which is really cool so my balance at the moment is 125 pounds at 5p if i opt for the buy gift gift card then i'll end up with a balance of 150 pounds essentially so basically if you opt for a gift card instead you'll end up getting more which is cool but i don't want to limit myself to a certain retailer so i'm going to withdraw to my bank account so yeah let's do that literally just going to hit withdraw to bank and i should see that money pretty soon and then i can go treat myself so happy days so yeah guys that's pretty much how quidco works i hope this video has been helpful if you do have any questions feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below and i will get back to you soon if you haven't signed up don't forget to use my referral code if you want to and earn yourself an extra 10 pounds because why not and that's the video done happy quidcoing Thank you.